So my name is Matt. I'm a LTA Level 5 Master Club coach and former British Coach of the Year. And we're going to be doing lots of fun tennis this morning. So the way the session is going to work, we've got four parts, four parts of the session. We have warm up, we're going to get ourselves moving, stretching, body and ball. We may be using a balloon today. Racket and ball. If you've got a racket, great. If not, you can use a frying pan, a wooden spoon. If you've got a balloon, even better. I filled up mine with rice. It's audible as well for any visually impaired players. And plus it's a bit of fun. So racket, a ball, even just a bit of tissue will do. That floats as well. Good for our volleys. Let's get ourselves going. Remember this is for anyone, all ages, all abilities. If you're in a wheelchair, vision impaired, any ability, any standard you can play. So warm up start off with. Towards the back of the room. Just get jogging. You, your mum and your daddy, whoever you're with. If you're on your own, that's fine as well. So just moving those feet. So tennis at home, remember, go to your website, Facebook. Want all your photos today. M Smith Tennis or LTA social pages. Good morning everyone. Right, arms forwards. So big circles like a windmill. And let's go backwards to those arms. We did this last week, have you been practicing? If we go one forwards and one backwards. Oh, it takes a little bit of practice, this one. Always looks funny as well. Can we pause there? We can go the other way. Woo! Woo! There we go, I've got it. it. Took a little while. Good work. Keep trying. Black tiptoes, nice and tall. Reach up to the sky. All the way forwards. Because when you go to volley, when you're a ninja, you have to come up to the net. So reach up and all the way back. Really tippy toes, really high to the stars. My right, next one on the heels, like a duck. All the way forwards, quack, quack. Make the noise swerve if you want. And all the way back. Perfect, right. If you have a ball, a bit of screwed up paper, whatever you've got around you. We're going to do a lunge, we're going to pass through the bridge. So first we're going to make a bridge, if you watch me. We're going to lunge forwards. We're going to create a 90 degree angle here. And then your ball will screw up a piece of paper, a pair of socks. And you pass it up under the bridge. Once you've done that, next leg, lunge forwards, under the bridge. Let's see if we keep that going. Try not to, try to make sure your knees don't go over your toes. Keep your back nice and straight. Passing under that leg. So let's keep going, keep switching. Great work. Woo! Tell us at home, ninjas this morning will be super speedy. So keep passing. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Right. That ball, that sock, wherever you've got, we're going to use a sock for this one. Let's place it on the floor. And I want to see your best ready position. So ninjas are warrior positions. So you're going to bend those knees, hands in front, nice and low. And that hot rock, we did this last week. Last week we were tapping, but this week we're going to go round to the rock. So shuffling around. Gives up lots of space, try not to trip over. Keep your head up. When I say switch, I want us to switch directions. Switch. Be nice and low, switch. 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 And switch. Fast we can, nice and low, last five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo! Great work. You can probably feel that heart rate already. 
getting working. I love that. Got a racket, a spoon, frying pan, whatever you may have. I'm going to use my frying pan. We're going to place this on the floor. You should be able to see that, yeah. Right, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Love this game. We'll do a little bit of a practice go. Ready? We'll do heads. Touch your heads. Shoulders. Knees. Toes. Heads. Shoulders. Knees. And toes. When I shout out ready, you've got to pick up your item and be in your best ready position you can. It's a race. You're racing against me, the coach. No one beats me, surely. And also, if you've got someone you're playing with today, someone in your household, race them as well. Right, head, shoulders, knees and toes, you ready? Best ready positions. Like a warrior, like a cat. Meow. Like a ninja. Right. Heads. Knees. Shoulders. Toes. Ready. Great work. Round two, can you beat the coach? Right, in your best ready positions. Heads. Knees. Toes, get low. We need to get low today for our volleys. Shoulders. Heads. Knees. Heads. Toes. Heads. Ready. Ah, oh, super speedy. Good ready positions. I like it. Who won that time? Did you beat me? I want to hear from you. You're going to do a third round. Last one. I had lots of comments on my dancing. I'm guessing everyone loved it. I'm going to keep going. Right. Round three. Best ready positions. Who's going to win? Is it me? Is it you? Compete against the person next to you as well if you're with someone. Heads. Toes, knees, shoulders, heads, shoulders, knees, toes, shoulders, knees, shoulders, toes, ready. Oh, great work. Woo! Who won? We have three rounds. So it's best of three. Who won? Was it you or was it me? Who won? Right, if you've got a racket, you can pick that up. I'm going to do some shadow swings now, some 10 swings to warm up those strokes. You can use a wooden spoon as well, anything you've got. I'm going to use my racket for this one. Right, so last week we looked at forehands and backhands. Give me a wave of your favourite hand. So hello, which one's your favourite hand? Mine's my right. So wave your favourite. You turn sideways. Last week's about getting low to high and swinging on the forehand. So on your favourite side, give that a go. Good on the backhand side. So it's the other side, the back of the hand. So backhand. We spoke down low to high and swinging. Let's do a few of them. Nice swings. Right, so last week we were swinging. That's a forehand, that's a backhand. But this week we're being ninjas. Yeah! We don't swing when we're volleying. You got a couple of cushions? I'm going to use a couple of cushions for this just to demonstrate. In your ready position, we're now going to high five. If you've got your mummies or daddies or someone else with you, you can actually literally high five them. If you're on your own like me, we can play pretend. This time, on your favourite side, we're going to step with the opposite foot and high five. Remember, you can do that literally with someone, high five. On the backhand side, you're going to high five. 
So, four hand sides, you step, high five, keeping that racket face above the wrist. Back hand, high five. Let's give that a go. If you've got something on the floor, you can put it down, you can step on it like a lily pad. So ninjas stomping. And let's see if we can switch it. We're really testing those brains. Opposite leg to opposite hand. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. We do way to ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work. If you've got a balloon, grab it now. We are ninjas, remember? We've got to keep it off the floor. For volleys, the ball does not bounce. So ninja chops. We're going to keep it nice and high. Don't let a balloon bounce. If you've got a balloon, great. If not, you can use a bit of tissue as well. I've got a bit of tissue here. Tissue works just as well. Keep it off the ground using your hands. Both hands if you can. Using both hands, keeping it off the floor. Let's do 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, we're going to alternate. See if you can use a hand and then a body part. This here, so use hand, I might use my foot. Use hand, I might use my head. Oh, hello. Hand. Elbow, hand, foot, hand, belly, hand, foot. Keep switching between your hand and my body part. It can be any body part. Choose what you want. Use my elbows, use my shoulders. See if you do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Woo! Great work. Right, next one. This is our cloud. Okay, we've got to keep that cloud off the floor, keep it floating. This time we're going to get really low. Using both hands, get really low to the ground. And up high to the sky. You can use a tissue for this as well, it works just as well. Really high. Can you get back low? Low to the ground. Back up high. Really reach up tall and get low. Keep those, keep that hand above the elbow if you can. Great work. Last one, really high. Nice and low. Great work. Right, stop there. So use those hands. We're now going to think about the feet again. Remember, you want to try to keep your hand above the elbow if you can. Whenever you get low, keep the hand above. Always hand above elbow is what we're trying to do. We need to get low to that cloud. Remember, we're ninjas. Ninjas at the neck. But what we're going to do now with the cloud, we're then going to see if we can step and keep the cloud up again using alternate hands. And you step as well. Opposite step. Keep the cloud in the air. Woo! Keep me up in the air. Which one of these do you prefer? Your right or your left side? Keep switching. Those steps. See if we do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Woo! Great work. Right, grab yourself a little drink. Right, if you want to pick 
pick up your racket. Have a little break, grab yourself a drink. If you remember from last week, your racket, and again, you give me your spoon, spoon, frying pan, whatever you've got around, it doesn't matter. Grip for this and how you hold it. You hold it in your non dominant hand on the back, so your weaker hand on the back. Favourite hand, your thumb and index finger, creating a V. Slide that down the grip here. Slide it down. Perfect. Right, it's like a hammer, it's like a chopper grip. That's the way we want to hold it. That's what Andy Murray, if you're watching him in the Challengers, or Kyrgios the other day, or Serena William, or Conta, or Heather Watson, they're all using this grip here. So when you watch them on TV at the Australian Open, it's the chopper grip. If you can use it, great. If not, don't worry too much. So with this grip, remember we're just high-fiving today, no swings. Keep that racket nice and high as well. With the balloon, we can see you racket and hand. For a bit more control, you can hold it a little bit higher. So this is the butterfly now. This is the ninja net. What? What? Your job. Is you've got to see if you can do hop the butterfly up, catching the neck. Pop it up, catching the neck. So hands, next, hands, next, hands, next. If you've got a bit of tissue paper that works as well. If you want to do it against the wall, you can do that as well. You can do it with a partner, with someone else. Hands, then rack it with a partner. If it's a bit too tricky in the air, you can even do it on the floor, against the wall. You can do your hand and rack it that way. Keep switching. So practice, practice. So rack it in the right hand to start off with. So have that ninja net in the right. I'm going to time you in a second. I want to see how many we can do in 40 seconds. Okay, so it's rack it, or net, Butterfly. Ninja net, butterfly. I want to see every time you catch the net counts as one. That would be two. Three is how many in 40 seconds? So show me your best ready positions. Remember, nice and low, brackets in front. Let me see that ninjas, the warrior positions. Right, you're tired. Start now. You've got 40 seconds. I've done one, two, three. Move side to side. Four. Imagine you're crossing a bridge. Five. Six. How many times can you catch that butterfly? Seven. We're halfway. Eight. Nine. Ten. Keep counting your scores. We've got 10 seconds left. I'm on 12. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Stop there. Right, your job. You've got to see if you can beat your score. I'm going to give you another 40 seconds. Racket or spoon or frying pan in your left hand now. There were lots of lefties out there before. So, think about the butterfly and the net, the ninja net. Press ready positions, are you ready? You've got to see if you can beat your score, we'll tie you back in. Your time starts now, 40 seconds. Can you beat your score? Now you're using your left. Those who are left handed, it'd be a bit easier. I'm on three already. That's it, side to side. Imagine you're crossing an imaginary line, an imaginary bridge. Tap that butterfly, catch it in the net. Come on, ninjas. Yeah. Yeah. We're halfway already. Ten seconds, 40, 50, 
16, 5, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop there. Right, last one on the balloon. We're going to be ninjas. Look, a few people better left hand even though they're right. Best ready position again. This time, we're going to switch every time. So you're going to hold your racket in your favourite hand. Whether that's your right or your left, it doesn't matter. Remember the steps. As a ninja switching each time. You're going to see if you can catch that butterfly in the net every single time. Just switching inside that racket. Okay, it's not a swing. It's a tap. A tap. Keeping that racket above the elbow, above the wrist. So if you watch me, let's have a practice. Switch every time now. Step, 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 step. Gotta be a tissue, it works as well. Step, step, bit quicker though. If you wanna have your tissue, see if you do two each side. That's fine. If you've got a ball, do two each side. Right, you're gonna have 40 seconds. You're now gonna catch the butterfly. Catch it every time with a balloon, every hit, ball or bit of tissue, do two each side. Right, ready positions. How many can we get in 40 seconds? Let's get up, see if we can double our score. Right, your time starts now. Get that step if you can. If you use a sock or a balloon, a tissue, a ball, keep switching every time. Come on. Switching our sides. Woo, get tired. Can you double your score? You're halfway. Woo! Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop there. Right, a little breather before the next game. If you do have a ball, great. Pick it up. Remember, you can have your hand a little bit higher. A little bit of skill now. Well done if you beat yourself earlier. We're going to play a bit of a balanced game. Ninjas are really balanced. They're really crafty. They're like little ninjas dancing around. Attacking, so we're attacking at the net. That balance, if you want to have the ball on your racket, if you haven't got a ball, socks are fine, you can do it with a pair of socks. Let's even go round the frame three times. One, two, keep it under control, three. You don't have to move the frame too much. You might notice you only have to do a tiny little bit, it's all about control. Let's go the other way. One, two, three. Racket your right hand. Let's see if you can balance on your left foot. Three times round. Woo! One, two, three. See so if you can go three the other way round. One, two, three. Switch hand, switch foot. So now it's your left hand. Right foot, let's go round. Three times. Two, three. Can you go three the other way? One, two, three. Great balance, everyone. If you drop it, it doesn't matter. Just pick it up. If we drop or let the, the butterfly hit the floor, the cloud drop, that's okay. Right, super skill, super trick, ready. Your job is going to have the ball one side. You've got to see if you can throw it up, see if you can catch it on the other. A bit easier with the balloon. Go up, catch it on 
the other side. A bit easier with the balloon, or you can do it with sock or a piece of tissue. Up, other side. Use your favourite hand for this one. Up, other side. Up, other side. Give it a practice. If you get really good at it, you can do it where the ball barely comes off the racket. It doesn't come off at all. Look at that. Woo! Take a little bit of practice that one. But one for you to practice at home, these are little tips and tricks and exercises. For you to use this shop and grip. You can practice it at home. Right, next game. This one is the level up game. Okay, so you've got to see if you can complete each level and go to the next one. So if you watch me, I'll show you how it works. Using a balloon, a piece of tissue, whatever you want. Level one is one volley and stop. Ready? So volley and stop. Once you've done that, you pass your racket through your legs. You're on to level two. Now we're going to do two volleys. One, two. Level two completed. Through the legs. Then it's going to be level three. To complete level three, through the legs, then level four. level four through legs. If you drop it, don't worry. You don't drop down. You stay on the level you're at. Once you complete the level, you move up. We're going to time it. I want to see what level you can get to in one minute. A whole minute. Remember level one is one here. Level two is two taps. After each one, you pass the racket through. Right, best ready positions. I want to see if you can beat me. If you want, we can do this against the wall. That's two. That's three. You can do it with a partner, with a balloon, over the, over a table, over anything. Right, ready? One minute. Your time starts now. Complete level one. Rack it through the legs. Can you complete level two? That's two volleys. Through the legs. Come on, ninjas. Level three, I'm on. Don't worry if you drop it. So I've dropped mine. So I'm still on level four, that's okay, keep going. You're halfway. Right now, level four, through the legs. Level four, I'm on level five now. I'm gonna try with a pair of socks. I'm gonna try it with a spoon. That's a bit tricky, isn't it? My right, last 10 seconds, can I do level five with a spoon? Oh, not quite. Five seconds. Oh, I did it. Three, two, one. Stop there. What level did you get to? I got to level five. Great work team, right, we're going to do that once more, we've got to see if we can beat our score. Wah, wah, wah. Can you beat your score? I'm going to use a frying pan or a ball for this one. This time, start from level one again. Might be a bit quicker because we're now going to go around the back. That's level one. Level two, round the back. Level three, if you've got a spare wall, even better. One, up, one, two, I dropped it. So it might be one, two, three. Level, level, level. But this time round to the back. Right, best, best ready positions. Can you beat your score? Ready? Your time starts now. One minute. Round your back. Round your back, I'm on level three already. Woo! Level four, can you beat me? I dropped it, oh it's gone, ah! Go on, I'm still here. You're halfway. I've got to level five. Remember, pass your item around your back. Come on, ninjas. 
Can we level up? Woo! Level seven for me. Oh, dropped it. Let's size up the different. Spoon and a piece of paper, this is my nemesis. Last 10 seconds, I'm on level seven. Oh, I did it. Three, two, one. Stop there. Did you beat your own score? Grab yourself a drink if you need one. Remember any photos or any videos, please do upload them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. M Smith Tennis, that's for Matt. M Smith Tennis, LTA. Tag us, share it. Share it, share it. We wanna see your photos, your videos. Right, before we go to our final game, This one's up to you, you get to decide what to use. This is gonna be last person standing. Last ninja standing. What? So you can use any item, you can use a ball, a sock, a piece of paper, balloon, use your hand if you want, your racket, spoon, frying pan, whatever you want as your piece of equipment. You're gonna have one minute. You need to keep the cloud or the butterfly. You need to keep it up in the air. I don't mind how you keep it up in the air. Use your knees, use your head. Ooh. Use your racket. You're gonna have one minute. It's not allowed to touch the floor. If it does, it's okay. Carry on. But can you last a whole minute keeping the cloud in the air? If you can, try to get the step as well. If you're with someone, challenge them. You can even work together, use two items and both working. Right, ready positions. Last ninja standing. Your time starts now. Keep it in the air, you can use your head, use your racket, use the net, keep it off the floor. I used to play this game with my brother and sister in the lounge with a balloon. Got to keep it moving, keep it out in the air. Try different hands. Feet. How are you getting on? Don't worry if you drop it. Keep going. Great work, everyone. Keep it off the floor. We're halfway. You've done 30 seconds already. Can you do it over a piece of furniture? Can you move side to side? We want to be 360 athletes. If you've kept it off the floor so far, well done. Got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stop there. Oh, ninjas. Great work. Did you manage to keep it off the floor? Was the balloon fly? Did you do it? If you dropped it once, if you dropped it twice, or three or four times, it's okay. Next time you do it, challenge yourself to a minute again. You can practice in the week. See if you can drop it less times. Shake hands. Shake hands with me. Shake hands with the person next to you. Remember, anyone can play tennis. You can play at home. You don't need a little bit of space. You can use anything you want. Play against someone else, play on your own. Tennis at home. Next we're gonna be looking at the serve. So it's called serve it up. If you've got a balloon, bring it. All about how we can start a point. So we've done ready to rally. That was week one. Ninjas at the net. What? Next week, serve it up. We're going to serve and get ready to play. 